A few days ago, the Indian Prime Minister went to Lakshadweep, a small union territory of India, which is an archipelago of 36 islands. He stayed there for one day, attended some political functions, placed foundations for new projects, inaugurated completed projects, enjoyed the scenic beauty of the islands, and did some water sports, while posting photos of it on social media. This thing, however, rattled some Maldives politicians who commented on the pictures on Twitter, saying Maldives is way better than Lakshadweep and passed some racist hateful remarks. Replying to it, Indian Twitter handles flooded it with replies, while Indian tourists who had planned their trip to Maldives cancelled it. Thousands of flight tickets and hundreds of hotel bookings were cancelled. Many vowed never to visit Maldives, but to visit Lakshadweep, which is Indian territory, boosting its local tourism business. This might look like a small Twitter skirmish, but behind it is a big geopolitical game of the Indian Ocean, Asia, and who controls trade routes. Maldives is an archipelagic state and country in South Asia, situated in the Indian Ocean. It lies southwest of Sri Lanka and India, about 750 kilometers or 470 miles from the Asian continent's mainland. It is a small country with a land area of 298 square kilometers and a population of 0.5 million. It is strategically located in the Indian Ocean and near global trade routes. Whoever controls Maldives controls Indian Ocean trade routes. Its main industry is tourism, with 28% of GDP, 60% of foreign exchange, and 90% of government tax, coming from the tourism sector. India and Maldives are neighbors sharing a maritime border. Relations have been friendly and close in strategic, economic, and military cooperation. India helped Maldives thwarting a 1988 coup d'etat attempt, 2014 male water shortage crisis, 2011-2015 Maldives political crisis, 2020 COVID-19 crisis with India, providing 100,000 India-made vaccines to Maldives, even before rolling it in India. In April 2020, India provided $150 million currency swap support to help Maldives mitigate the financial impact of COVID-19. India extended a $50 million line of credit to Maldives for defense projects for Ithuru Thila Falhu Naval Base. In 2021, India extended a $400 million credit line for the Greater Mail Connectivity Project. In 2009, India started the process to bring the island country into India's security grid. After the request of Maldives government, India has been training Maldives security personnel for years to improve its capabilities. A country that is heavily dependent on tourism for its economy, Indian tourists constitute 30% of total tourists. Maldives is one of the most popular choices for tourism and honeymoon for Indians and Indian actors, flocking to Maldives far often, marketing its tourism indirectly. Over the years, China has increased its footprints in Maldives, considering Maldives' location and China's string of the pearls and maritime Silk Road strategy. China opened its embassy in Maldives in 2011, and Maldives opened one in China in 2009. China has become pervasive in the Maldives, exerting influence over infrastructure, trade, and energy sectors, raising concerns of a new form of Chinese entrapment. Approximately 70% of the Maldives' total debt is attributed to Chinese projects. China and the Maldives in 2018 were looking to construct a joint ocean observation station. The government of India and the Maldivian Democratic Party had expressed concerns that it will be used for military applications by China. China has run a negative PR campaign against India in Maldives to get a bigger footprint in Maldives than India, which has succeeded partially. Presidential elections were held in the Maldives in September, with a key campaign topic being the Maldives' position with respect to India. The opposite side, Mohamed Muzu, adopting the slogan India out, Mohamed Muzu won the election, getting 46% votes in the first round and 54% votes in the second round. In December 02, Indian Prime Minister Modi met Mohamed Muzu. The meeting took place days after Mr. Muzu requested New Delhi to withdraw 77 Indian military personnel from the Maldives and decided to review more than 100 bilateral agreements between the two countries. The President of Maldives is supposed to visit China from January 8 to 12. As Mr. Muzu seems keen on a close friendship with China, which should be concerning to India. Mr. Modi's visit to Lakshadweep Islands is seen by Maldives as a signal by India that if Maldives goes closer to China, India may encourage its tourists to visit Lakshadweep over Maldives, hampering its tourism-based economy, which highly depends on Indian tourists. Lakshadweep is already the most trending search on Google. Maldives' Twitter users, many of whom were government ministers, argued that Lakshadweep is 10x smaller than Maldives in size with minimal infrastructure, no international air connectivity, permit system to visit, cleanliness issues, lack of choices of resorts, will never allow Lakshadweep to replace Maldives. 
but considering Indian government countrywide intra push, we might see the complete opposite picture of Lakshadweep in the next three to four years, developing it into an international tourist destination, with five star hotels already in the pipeline by 2026, with short term Indian tourism redirected to other locations like Seychelles, Mauritius, Sri Lanka, and Southeast Asia. Lakshadweep Islands are extremely beautiful islands with coral reefs and rich marine life. With coming days and years, we might see where this India, Maldives and China conflict goes, and what role Lakshadweep plays in it.